Greetings to everyone and welcome to Velite Dunamor, Truth of Love. One truth of love for me is love is not a thing, but love is a person. The word of God says love is God. And when I think of Christmas, I think of Jesus. I think of not just his birth, but I think of his life and I think of the sacrifice that he made for me. He made a sacrifice that is priceless. He came to restore me back to his side. He came to die for me and he came to die for you. That's why I celebrate him, not just during the Christmas holidays, but I celebrate him every single day of my life. The journey to today's program was quite the challenge. Virtual education is no easy feat. Most people who teach can say the same thing. But you know, I'm so thankful that the students thrived in the environment of virtual learning many of them still miss of course connecting with each other but many of them also thrived and i'm especially thankful that so many of the students who had duets to perform were able to do that without even meeting their partners until the day of the recording and that in itself is just crazy but good crazy if you know what i mean as we journey together over the next few minutes, you will not only be hearing the traditional Christmas carols, Christmas hymns and songs, but you would be hearing songs that represent the life of Christ, his birth, his life, and even his death. All of Jesus and all that he represents to me and all that he represents to those who believe. You would also even be hearing some original material because as you would know, Lucretia Royal Academy really believes in innovation and innovative learning. In this environment, students really thrive in their writing skills, in their composition skills, in their singing technique and their abilities. They really thrive. So we have at least three songs that would be original compositions today. I'm so proud of everyone. Be blessed.
My name is Gwyneth McEachern and I've been part of the Academy for about six years now. Um, it's been a very challenging experience but also very rewarding and very fun. I always have fun when I come to class. I always look forward to class and you know um, it makes all of the challenging parts of it very um, a lot more bearable. <laughs> Um, one thing I've learned about love, one truth about love that I've learned is that true love is a choice, right? In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, when, it, when Paul writes about love and said that it's kind, it's um, patient, 
that it doesn't boast, that it doesn't envy, that it always seeks out the truth, it rejoices in truth. There's nothing about emotions there, nothing about feelings there. So in order for us to be patient and kind and, and um, forgiving, it, we have to choose to be all of those things. And the song that I'm about to sing, I wrote this song and um, it just reflects the decision that God made. God made the decision first of all to love us even though we turn against him and because he wants us to be reconciled to him he made the decision to take on our sins to make that sacrifice for us so every year we we celebrate his coming um so i think that it's um it's very very fitting to talk about love because his arrival is because he loved us so i hope you enjoy it As we join the heavenly chorus Fulfillment in the flesh of man According to God's holy plan Venite adoremus Venite adoremus Emmanuel, God with us Peace on earth, good will to us. Venite adoremus. Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Bring gifts of praise and thanksgiving to Him, the holy newborn King. Let's bow down before Him To worship and adore Him He comes to us this holy night To offer us eternal life Venite adoremus Venite adoremus Emmanuel, God with us, peace on earth, good will to us, finite adoremus. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. In Luke chapter 2, it says that while the shepherds were watching their flocks by night, an angel of the Lord came and said to them, Don't be afraid, for I bring you tidings of great joy. Today in the city of David is born the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And the entire night sky filled with the whole heavenly host singing, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth 
goodwill to all men. So let's join the heavenly host in worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ was born today. Merry Christmas to everyone. Venite, venite adoremus. Venite, venite adoremus. Oh come, oh come, let us adore him. Academy of Music really believes in innovative learning. We have students of all kinds. We have worship teams, we have choirs, we have groups, we have soloists, pianists, and one student in particular I would like to mention, Claudia Worrell Matthews, a remarkable woman. 
of God. I met Claudia and Claudia just had an extremely unique passion for serving. She told me she was a retired teacher. She also told me that she loves music and she loves writing and she has a book of songs. She just, all she wants to do is just be a part of what's happening currently, a part of what's happening. She wants to be a blessing. She wants to minister. And I said, you know what? Okay, let's see what you have. Let's begin to develop the music that you have, the songs that you've written, and let's see where we can go from here. And Claudia began doing sessions with me. For this particular event, I wanted her to participate so badly. But she is not a confident person. She's pretty shy, especially when it concerns singing. And so I said, Claudia, well, you don't have to sing. You write, you know, you, you do poetry. Let's get you doing something else. And this is what Claudia prepared for today's event. I'm telling you, it surely is a blessing to have all these little ones all around me right here. Huh? No, really, take a look and see. The fun is on. These children just know how to usher in the Christmas atmosphere. It doesn't matter. They just chatter all day about their list of Christmas gifts with me or anyone else who wants to listen. Huh? And whether they are naughty or nice, who cares? They know that this is their season. Yes. This is their season. Think about it. Who wants to destroy the joys of a child who's earnestly hoping? Who can bear to hear the desperate cries of a child whose heart is breaking? I guess Christmas really is for the children. Christmas really is for the children. Well, well, as a grown-up, I to get very caught up at the mall in the... <laughs> Yuletide fantasies, uh-huh. Wow, I'm so tempted to feed my greed with just a few more of these pricey vanities. I say, just a few more of these pricey vanities. Anyhow, I'll continue my toy shopping while sharing Christmas tidings. Reflecting on the biblical lessons learned about the benefits of cheerful giving. Hey, I'm the generous genie for today, so I'll say... Your wish is my command. Yeah, your wish is my command. Oops, but if my spending powers fall short of their wishes, I hope my darlings understand. Yeah, I think they'll understand. I guess Christmas really is for the children. Christmas really is for the children. You see, by far the greatest gift came on the first awesome Christmas night. Imagine seeing the baby Jesus laying in that crude manger, encircled by the holy light, when the choir of angels sang joyful hymns, proclaiming his precious birth. Oh, the glory of perfect love illuminating this dismal fallen earth child of God he has us on his mind that is why he came fulfilling his destiny meant he would endure unspeakable shame love shouldn't hurt yet his love for us caused him grave pain but what he gave affords us eternal life and that's our richest gain yeah accept Christ today or else a solemn sacrifice would all be in vain I guess Christmas really is for the children. Christmas really is for the children. And all of us are really God's children. And that's a fact. Uh -huh. So Merry Christmas to you and you and you too, my dear. Merry, Merry Christmas to all of God's children.
I would just wanted to say thank you so much to Croatia Corel Academy Music, which has been an impact uh, and a blessing to my daughter Hannah. So it was so inspiring for her during the pandemic to be able to express um, and learn more about music and to be motivated to the academy. So we really want to thank you and encourage you to continue to pursue your dreams and uh, allow the academy to assist you in this area. And also I think we need to help our children with this type of experience, also to manage their time. Because a lot of parents probably say like, you know, would they have time for their schooling, education, studies? And we always encourage Hannah to manage her time, you know, and take full advantage to, to develop her talents in different areas. And that's what we want to encourage you also. Allow your children to explore that. It's a beautiful thing. You know, they visit the New Year. Yes. And of course, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. A beautiful season ahead in 2022. Or it's your started this journey of voice vocal training with Miss Lucretia Horrell. At that time I knew her as Lucky, CJ and Lucky. And uh, I mean what like two sessions I sang at a funeral after two sessions with Lucky and people were like blown away. They were like oh you song it sounded different. It was a different sound and I think her professionalism encouraged me to apply the skills that I, I started acquiring immediately. So 20 years later, we, we lost connection and 20 years later, I met her at an event. And I went up to her and I said, you know what, Lucky, I want to start back vocal training because the song that was coming, she, she actually sang at the event and the song that was coming out of her mouth was awesome. I'm, I'm like, I should have been there singing background vocals with this yeah, with this lady <laughs> so i decided i'm going to start this journey again 20 years later and i wanted to bring my daughter along my daughter who is six years old she is doing piano with lucky and we also going to start vocal training together as a mom and a mommy and me program you know with lucky and i brought lucky into my church to work with my worship team and that has been awesome well you guys would hear the song that we are doing and from where we started it's by no way we we were not at this level at all when we started we didn't know what we were doing and now the song that is coming is not the greatest but we're getting there and we're continuing to work with her um it's an amazing journey just reflecting and, and seeing yourself and implementing what 
um, what you have been taught is so crucial and so important. And our, our whole journey is new beginnings. So we have started to do away with all our old habits or bad habits, the things that we would do, not practice, not come together and not listen. And I remember one thing that Lucky said to me that is so important is singing is 90% listening and 10% singing. And I listen to that and I, I'm like, yeah, I used to just sing without listening. Now I sing intentionally. I sing by listening to the others in the group and in the, in the team. And as a team, I see us really growing. We have grown in the short space of time that we started. I think it's three months now and it has been an amazing journey and we are super excited for what is to come. I would just like to say to each and every one of you, love is the reason for this season. It's a season of love, a season of joy, a season of happiness and togetherness. And all we want to wish you is a happy and holy holiday. Listen to the angels rejoice in their so sweetly Believing heaven's glory The night that Christ was born
Hello all of you, my name is Charlene. It has been an absolute privilege being taught by Miss Lucky at her school. I think about Miss Lucky and I think about the Holy Spirit. I think about the helper, the one who comes alongside and helps us, enables us, encourages us, teaches us. And I see even in my own experience at the school, sometimes, many times, not believing in my own self, not understanding my own ability. But Miss is like Holy Spirit coming alongside me and causing me to understand that there is some significance with my voice. And I'm sure that all the students could attest to the same thing. So I just want to encourage you that even if you are at a place where you don't even understand the purpose of your voice, you don't even understand your value, just keep submitting to Holy Spirit. Keep getting good advice from Miss Lucky because she always gives it. Holy Spirit will teach you the power and the purpose of your voice. And that is what I'm learning here at this school. So God bless you, Miss Lucky. Thank you so much. Must have been a sight to see All of heaven announce your majesty Must have been a sound to hear Their voices calling the shepherds near Oh, come Come see the king of the world Signs that followed for so long in the heavens announced his majesty they'd been waiting for the one the one whose star had drawn them near to come come see the king of the world Stirring in the night while the shepherds watch all the angels cry the king is coming to the earth below Through a virgin girl All the wise men told The king is coming Alle The king is coming Alle The king is coming Wonder what the shepherds thought that Must have been a sight to see All of heaven announce your majesty Hi, CJ here. For those of you that may not know, uh, I'm Lucky's brother and her biggest fan. No, for real, I am. 
I have the awesome honor of introducing to you someone that is very, very special to Lucky and I. He's a musical giant, a mentor and inspiration, and a son of the soil. This multi-Grammy, Dove-nominated, and Juno award-winning producer has considerable experience. His work has run the full spectrum of the industry and has spanned a wide range of genres. Directing multiple choirs and small groups, his talents have taken him around the world to Saudi Arabia, Australia, New Zealand, Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, Vienna, Germany, Milan, the Ukraine, Hungary, the UK, and Moscow, just to name a few. I can tell you that some of his musical highlights include production, performance, and writing credits with the likes of Yolanda Adams, Alvin Slaughter, Anointed, Point of Grace, Cece Winans, Take Six, Winona Judd, Whitney Houston, Faith Hill, Michael W. Smith, Fred Hammond, Karen Clark Shared, and the list goes on and on. I can also tell you that this 20-year music industry veteran established his own record label, After Touch Music, with a roster of diverse artists from genres of pop, gospel, jazz, Latin, and R&B. But what I really want to tell you is that he's not just a mentor to Lucky and I, he is our friend and big brother. A kind-hearted soul who's been there for us in our good times and our not-so-good times. A true lover of people and an all-round blessing in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, would you please make welcome Roger Ryan. Hi, I'm Roger Ryan. I'm a music producer. I reside in Nashville, uh, Tennessee. And I have the pleasure of working with Lucretia Horrell all the way in Trinidad. Um, she is an incredibly talented artist, um, incredibly talented songwriter. She's a great vocal arranger and also a great vocal producer and a producer, really. Um, I have had the honor of doing many projects with her over the last few years. I actually lost count how many songs she's actually arranged on for me and um, she's one of my closest friends I love her dearly Lu Lucretia Horrell Academy of Music is her baby and I'm proud and honored to be on her board uh, and to support her team and support what she does there um, it's the craziest time of the year People get depressed, they get all kinds of weird feelings because of the Christmas season. And then to add to that, we have a pandemic that still exists. And uh, I want to just share a message of hope, letting you know that in spite of all of that, um, there's still good in the world, there's still good in people. And God still smiles on us in spite of. and. There is definitely an end to this. Not right today or tomorrow, possibly very soon. Um, the biggest message is always love. Let's continue to love one another. And that will solve so many more problems.
We knew he was dead It is finished, he said We had watched as his life ebbed away And we all stood around Till the guards took him down Joseph begged for his body on that day It was late afternoon when we got to the tomb Wrapped his body and sealed up the grave So I know how you feel, his death was so real But please listen and hear what I say
Camila and I have been a student at Lucretia Morales Academy of Music for about three years or more. And I would definitely say that this has been a very, very, very huge learning experience for me um, with regards to music and vocal training. Um, it has definitely helped me to advance in both areas. And I would recommend each and everybody to come to this school. So, yeah. And I would just like to encourage each and everyone, though this year may have been difficult, stand firm, trust in God, and continue to have faith. Everything will be okay. Everything will work out. So. Mm -hmm. so alone it felt like no one understood me the pain i felt i felt inside i tried to hide but then you came into my life you said you'll never leave me forsake me i am the way the truth and the life Stand up, be strong Your ladder will be greater than your past Hold on, it's a new season Never give up, don't give in And keep your head up high above the ways Tomorrow will be brighter for you Hold on You may be down And tired You may have even lost Your way in this maze called life I know You feel like giving up But he Inside of you is even greater than the one who's in the world. He holds the key to your tomorrow. So stand up, be strong. Your ladder will be greater than your past. Hold on, it's a new season. Never give up, don't give in And keep your head up high above the ways Tomorrow will be brighter for you Hold on Don't worry, he hears you cry He knows you, he sees you, he cares
to be a part of this recital under the tutelage of Lucretia Horrell. I think I would have met Lucretia at birth. Fondly, I call her Lucky. And um, nine, eight or nine years later, in 2003, I remember having the opportunity to record in his hands with her. And um, I must say, from that moment, there was a click and an inspiration that was like none other. Lucky saw who I am today vocally and um, she enhanced and would have invested everything that she had in me. I remember before that moment that we would have had some very fun times at Queens Hall performing in different concerts as a kid alongside other friends and i really really appreciate you lucky and as we're in the spirit of christmas my one truth about love is that love is a need many people want love in this world today but we need love we need love to go on so my message that i leave with you today is that let love be music let love be you let love be me and let's love each other through everything that we will face. Please enjoy this song.
Please have snow and mistletoe and presents under the tree. Christmas Eve will find me where. Christmas If only In my Dreams Christmas Eve Is gonna find me One thing that stands out to me about the Lucretia Hall Academy of Music, I recall my first ever lesson with Lucky. I came in, we were working on a song on harmonizing. She wanted to see how well I could harmonize. And within the first five minutes of our lesson, Lucky and I were worshiping singing that song that I will never forget that memory so I feel like Lucky offers music with a difference it's so meaningful um, also another memory I have is from that first lesson I left elated because I've been singing since childhood I'm an adult now obviously and <laughs> In that one lesson, Lucky helped me find my voice. That meant the world <laughs> to me, it meant the world. <laughs> so I feel like she, she gives quality over quantity every time. It's teaching with excellence and I appreciate that so much. So thank you Lucky for helping me find my voice and for your standard of Excellent. God bless you. My truth of love is love is patient and kind. It's one thing to be patient, but it's a whole other thing to be patient and kind. What I wish for you this Christmas is joy. Merry Christmas. Childhood fantasies 
But I'm all grown up now And I still need help somehow I'm not a child But my heart still can dream So here's my lifelong wish My grown up Christmas list Not for myself but for a world in need No more lives torn apart That wars would never start And time would heal all hearts Everyone would have a friend and As children we believed The grandest sight to see Was something lovely Wrapped beneath our tree But heaven only knows That packages and bones Can never heal a hurting human Lucretia Oren Academy of Music has a very, very rich history. It was not always known as Lucretia Oren Academy of Music, but it actually began more than 45 years ago in the home of my mom and my dad. My mom taught piano to the neighborhood kids even before I was born. After I was born, I just grew up experiencing her teaching, experiencing them singing together, just music all around and I began to help my mom tutor. I also went through the rudiments of theory and practical with Associated Board of Royal Schools of Music and I began to become more heavily involved in the actual training of the students. After my mom passed in 2005, I took a little break from teaching but within the maybe couple of years after her death, a few of the neighborhood parents would pass and ask if we're still doing classes, if we're still teaching, and I said, you know what, let me, let me get back involved. And that's when I began to tutor again. 
I also worked an 8 to 5 job, a regular job as everyone else. But deep down inside, I always knew that the call on my life was so much greater. I really knew that I was called to ministry, music ministry. And I began to become very, very depressed at my job. You know, just waking up 9 o'clock to get to work for 8 o'clock. My smile was gone and it was becoming very, very heavy and weighty. Just getting to work and just functioning in that role. God actually spoke to me at my desk one day and he said, I called you and if I called you, I will take care of you. I would never forget those words. Right after God spoke those words to me, I wrote my resignation and I walked out of that job. And I never looked back. I also never worked for a penny less than I worked for at that job. Lucretia Oil Academy has now been in existence for more than 16 years and I must say that God has truly been good. He has been faithful and he has really kept me and he has kept the school alive and kept the school going. I have a true passion for educating students, for seeing them fulfill purpose in their lives. I have a real passion for mentoring and I just want to say that I don't want you to ever doubt yourselves. It's the enemy's plan to make you doubt yourself and doubt your gift and doubt your capabilities. But I want you to remember that whatever you dream, if you believe, you will achieve it through Jesus Christ who gives you strength. And always remember that the sky is the beginning. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Miriam Diaz and I have been a part of the Lucretia Horrell Academy of Music for approximately 10 years. In those years, our relationship has blossomed from student tutor to friends. As her friend and student, I can definitely say that she is loving, she is caring, she is kind and believe you me, very patient. <laughs> because I can be a challenging student. So I'd, I'd like to just take this opportunity to say thank you, Lucky, for being patient with me. Um, in addition to all of those wonderful qualities, she has a very uncanny way of spotting the potential in you and pulling it out from you. I consider her to be an exemplary vocal coach due to the fact that she is a detail-oriented person, which in my opinion, sets her apart from other vocal coaches and schools around. If I had to leave one word of advice for you guys, it would be, don't limit yourselves. Don't remain in that mold that keeps us where we are. But I'd like to challenge you guys to really go further than your minds would allow you. And in the words of Lucretia Horrell, the sky is the beginning. So dare to dream big. One truth of love for me is that love motivates. My reason for saying this is because love motivates me to be a better friend, a better wife, a better sister, a better daughter, and overall just a better human being.
I'm so grateful to so many people who were instrumental in making this program a success. I want to first thank MJ Ryan. Charles Ryan, you are truly a gift from God. You are an amazing young man. I met Charles probably a little more than 10 years ago. And ever since that day, Charles and I have connected through music and we have just really experienced such joy together, just creating music together. Charles has also partnered with Lucretia Oral Academy to do productions for students and to just create excellent standard of music, an excellent standard of music. Charles, thank you so much and I look forward to 2022 and all the tremendous blessings. JJ Ryan, Mrs. Ryan, thank you, thank you, thank you for your genuineness, your willingness, your love. Thank you so much for being a part of this and for jumping hands in and on and just bringing the best to the table every time with the videography and with just your positivity. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you so much, Melissa Diaz, my dear friend Mel. Thanks so much for your love and for being a part of this event, for helping so much with every all the odds and ends, the, from the plants to the lights to everything, to even doing videography at times. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mel. I want to thank CJ, my sweet brother, who is my mentor, one of my mentors and one of my advisors for the school. He's always behind the scenes helping and doing odd ends of things. Thank you so much CJ for getting all of this together, for assisting with that. I want to thank Roger Ryan, who is also a mentor of the school and also a school advisor and board member. Thanks so much Roger for your love and for always being a part of my events and for always supporting. Roger is someone who I have so much respect for and he literally flies into the country from the USA to all of my annual events. Of course this one is virtual but he's still been a part of today's event and I'm so grateful. Thank you Roger. Thank you so much Andrew for your excellence as always in your edits, in your productions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thanks so much to Joshua Keynes, Joshi as we call him, for the use of his band room and for always being so accommodating no matter what the request. Thank you so much to the students for your diligence and for your willingness to be a part of this event. Especially the ones who were extremely nervous, camera shy, and they actually still came and pushed through and pressed through and made it happen. Thank you so much. To the parents and guardians of the academy, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have been such a tremendous support um, throughout all the years. And for this, I am so grateful. And I don't take you for granted at all. Thank you and I love all of you. So this right here is the newest addition to my family and the only one that I can actually lift. So from my family to yours, have a wonderful and safe season. God bless you and I love all of you.